Hello and welcome back to episode 10 of Greatest Let's Play FGB Monster Series. Uh, well, first series anyway. We'll see how we get on with the other ones. And I've got a problem. 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 Sugarcane. It's just sitting there. And the fans aren't doing a thing. It doesn't work with IC2 crops. Obviously it doesn't bone meal. Can't use this setup to automate it. Or at least, unless those fans need raising one higher. But in any case, not too keen and it would be quite slow. So we need to grow enough sugarcane to be able to power our base. Or at least to add more power. How are we going to do that? Well, as it turns out, let's just pop upstairs. Again, the temporary home for my farms until I get a more permanent place. It's my tree, rubber trees, by the way. I mean, I've said last episode, but I went to find some rubber trees, grew them here. I can go and get, grab them accordingly. So here I've just got a container, really. Uh, why isn't this world loading? There we go. I've just got a container that I'm going to build a platform to put my... Uh, sugarcane onto. In fact, let's go and get some earth now while I talk you through the rest of this. But again, a platform isn't really going to help unless I'm going to do things manually. I'm definitely not don't want to do things manually, especially not with sugarcane. So we're going to have to automate a few things. One of the ways we can make it grow faster, and that's one of the more important things, is using lily pads. Now, not just the regular kind, but the lily pads of fertility, part of Zeno, Zeno's reliquary. But it requires us to make a few different things. And this condensed splash serum is one of the first ones. So I've got, uh, in fact I've not got the redstone, but I've got everything else I believe. Let's just unpack a few blocks. That'll do. So, glowstone, gunpowder. Redstone, and what was it? Nether wart. Thankfully I've been going some nether wart. Was it redstone? No, I'm just misremembering. No need for redstone. But we do need some of this. Vial of ordinary water. A vial is just glass panes. Um, and with my glass pane, the second show you this. We need five of them. In fact, let me just make these first. And just dump those for now. These vials. I just like this. Get five of them, just go and hold down, right click over some water, and you'll get the rest. So now we have condensed splash serum. We want to get white dye, but in this case, bone meal will do just fine. Always remember with these sorting pipes to try and leave at least one item in the right chest so that it doesn't um, it doesn't cause problems. There you go. And that's only 16. That's only a four, one and a half. Oh, sorry, two and a half. So we need some more bone meal. Now, something you probably know, but if you haven't done before, instead of just combining it in a crafting grid like this, get some bone meal. Go to your pulverizer. I accidentally crafted some there. Not happy. Go to your pulverizer, drop it in. And I think you get six per. Yeah, there we go. Six. It's much nicer. And doesn't take very long either. Let's just grab you. That 
That's more than enough. At least to start off with. So 12, 16, 16. Yeah, that's maybe not enough everything, but if we just surround this. In fact, it is enough. Good. Five lily pads of fertility. What are we going to do with those? Well, I'm going to be short of water. I wonder if I have any spare tanks I could do with that, actually. That'd be the easiest. Now, lily pads of facility have a certain range to them. They will have a radius of three, so that's a seven diameter, if you like, three either side of them around. And they have a, uh, where are you? They have a range up and down. They have a range of one da block down and four blocks up. So. Anything inside that range will grow faster. The best part is the cumulative. So if you have more in range, things will grow faster. And of course, you can basically just completely fill the area. Oh, how many is in there? More. You completely fill the area with them. I don't have enough lily pads to do that just yet, fortunately. I will go hunting for some more. You can make them if you have magic crops with nature essence. I don't or haven't made any seeds of that yet, so I may well do that to make them. It's a bit easier than going hunting. So if we take this tank upstairs. For the moment, just put this down and... Cross hatch pattern will do. I'm just going to fill these. Assume that it goes on top of goes on top of water. I imagine it does. Um, and let's put down these lily pads. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. See. So now we we'll need some water and some sugar cane. Uh, sorry, water. Dirt. In fact, we could just transfer that stuff, but never mind. We've got stacks of it down. Bit of lag. Stacks of it downstairs. Basic middle materials. Um, let's just dump some of this stuff in here. Stack of earth and plants. Stack of sugar cane. We're still going to need that water because remember you need to have the sugar cane unless they're IC2 crops and you can't unfortunately use the lily pads with IC2 crops. Unfortunately, sorry. <laughs> That'll be a little bit overpowered. Um, yeah, so you can't use them with IC2 crops, but we are going to need to put holes in this to obviously water down so there is gonna be water going wow my aim's off so what I don't want to do is have water on top of those so I'm probably best putting another layer down to be honest or at least over the center ah, I can't Hopefully they don't, they don't get destroyed by water then. Um. Yeah, I want this kind of effect. So if I can just cover them with this temporarily. 
I may even be able to build one higher. I'm not sure if it means that one, two, three, and then the the plant could be up here. If it does, that would be great. But I'm not counting on it, counting on it just yet. So. Um, Okay, so all right, so there are the blocks I can't fill in with water, so if I just cross hatch the rest. And of course I'm out. Never mind. I do have some water though, so I can just fill it in. And it might be nice if we see some kind of effect. If not, maybe I need to go and get some more sugar cane. Not seeing any effect yet. Got to be said. Of course, what I can also do, and I haven't done in this case just yet, is um, I can put lily pads on this level as well, but I haven't done that as yet. I really shouldn't build like this. Okay, definitely not growing any faster from what I can see. Maybe I need many more lily pads. Shouldn't be too high. No, so let's give it a bit of time to grow and we can get on with the rest of the today's episode. Now, all that sugar cane's up there. It is growing a little bit faster than normal. I have just had to wait a couple of minutes. But um, we need an automated way of collecting it. So we're going to use a harvester. And it's a block from Mine Factory Reloaded. It's often used in tree farms, for instance. In this case, we're actually going to build this out. Um, it is going to need power, and we're going to have to sort out some way of jump starting the system until we can produce enough power that from the sugar cane itself. So we may have to set up some kind of temporary steam turbine, like the, the thing in the other room, um, just to give it a little bit of power to get started, to pile up enough of the uh, sugar cane so that we can process it. So let's make this... Let's make this uh, harvester. We're going to want some iron, as usual. Two pairs of shears. And what are we missing? Ah, plastic sheets. 
Let me just put some of this stuff back actually. Sugar canes, mob drops. Okay. Let's see what I'm actually missing this time. What? One of these things wrong? Oh, Invarax. Well, isn't that annoying? <laughs> right. Do I have enough Invar? Probably not. Oh, actually, I do. Just. Um. Now I've got a spare axe. Fine. Invar axe. Oh, come on. Really? What am I missing now? Are these Invar shears or something? No, come on. Machine frame. I'm not missing anything. Fine. Harvester. And this actually auto ejects, so, um, could do with some dye. Do I have... I might have enough. I might just have enough for this. So... All right, no problem. I at least can apply it on the uh, on one of the chests. So I don't want to use up all the cactus. Here, otherwise, I have to go and make a very long run. So white, green, white eyes, and sugar and sugar cane. And we can go and put that up with the harvester. See, it's already grown. It's only been a couple of minutes. Well, five minutes, but hey. Uh, my room down there with all the pulverizers, etc., is right on this corner, right there, I think. So, what we want is. Yeah. Halfway along the, here would be. Um... That's a bit annoying. Never mind. And I can never remember which way around you have to actually plant these. Let's give it a try. This oh, it's the wrong way. Okay, so the hole in the back will auto eject. You don't need to have a pneumatic act, uh, pneumatic server or anything like that on the the item ducts. You can use item ducts if you want. I'm just going to see whether this works straight away with an inventory. Without falling off. Okay. And the main problem is now that I need to supply this with power. And generally I'd supply it underneath, which is why I was a bit annoyed there was a water right next to it. So, no power. Nothing works. So... Water would flow out of here if I break this block, so let's let's go nab our power system. Uh, 
I wonder if I should just make a water source up here. I'm going to have to transport it somehow, so... I don't need anything that large. So if I make a water source here with a couple of bits uh, of water... I'm also going to need an autonomous activator to supply the water and a steam turbine. Now, luckily, a lot of that we've actually got downstairs, which was feeding this system. So if I just go and... Uh, that's lava, isn't it? So if I just go and borrow... Yeah, let's call it borrowing. This system... Is this? It is ocean, so I've got to be a bit careful here. Um, there you go. I don't still have that bloody tank with me. Actually, we can just borrow one of these. Uh, strictly speaking, not all of them are needed because, yeah, uh, the cross hatch pattern just covers it. And then we just need this to go to a steam dynamo temporarily. That'll probably do it. We've got a steam dynamo here and some conduit. So let's just go and grab that and let's see if our. Sugarcane farm works. Steam dynamo. Some conduit. And we want to want some coal. Um, coal essence. We do have plenty of that, but... Just start it off with... A little bit for now. I'm not going to bother putting a battery in the way just yet. So, sorry, a energy cube. Whatever you want to call it. Okay. So then we just run the leadstone color it this way. And if you right click this with a Present hammer, it'll face the, the the conduit. So we want to send the conduit this way. Thankfully, it's blocking the water. There we go. You are getting power. Look at that. Now, important thing for the harvester, which you've probably just seen for if you those of you who are eagle eyed. Let's quickly eat. Notice how it's only harvested this three by three area in front of it. That's because that's that's its default range. It only targets a three by three area. So we're gonna extend it by one, two uh, to get it to target the whole of this and we could probably increase that range as well even a bit more This has ejected into here good, so we're going to really want a range increase and They are called upgrades and <laughs> There are many many upgrade blocks here. We go upgrade lapis is one iron is two radius increase. Let's just look at iron Iron raw plastic bit of gold. That's they'll do I've already got all that. Some even in my inventory. In fact, most of it in my inventory. Almost like I was uh, planning things. I wasn't. Don't tell anyone. Like just now. So... 
Uh, was it was redstone? There we go. Now, if you're doing this with um the the other there's there's two blocks if you like that are normally used together. One's the harvester, the other one's a planter. In the case of sugarcane, you don't need a planter because it isn't really something that you you know you plant down with seeds. You just plant a base unit and it grows upwards. So normally you need two of these upgrades. And you know your planter will usually be in the middle because they, it, it's in a full 360 range, whereas the harvester all harvests everything in front of it. So here you drop it in this upgrade slot, and in a moment. Now it's not harvesting very fast, but that's okay because this isn't a huge farm. You'll see it's going through row by row as it actually goes towards black the back. And it's all being output into here. Of course, this is dependent upon our Steam Dynamo at the moment, which is, has to be said, a bit annoying. So, we can leave that for now. I've got a magic crop. Ooh, some slime. I've got a magic crop providing me coal essence, so I don't actually got a need to, to go and mine stuff. But it is... Somewhat benefits, by the way, of having a slime island above your, your roof. But annoying otherwise. But I do get blue slime. Or good gelatinous, plus gelatinous slime. Right, so we've got a sugarcane farm. Producing sugarcane, obviously. We can, of course, use that to automate our ethanol. And we'll, we'll come back to that later, if I can get it growing fast enough. The main priority, at least for the moment, is to get some power for our base. So I've decided I actually do want to put an energy energy um, cell up there, but I'm going to get the the next version of. In fact, I think it's two versions above. Yeah, redstone energy cell. Uh, it's not the top version though. That's resonant. Uh, that, that that uses some of that endearing ingots that it's so hard to get. Um, so for the moment, we're going to need to make the the uh, the frame. Frame's quite easy. Four electrum, which is one silver, one gold. Four of this hardened glass and one diamond. That's easy enough. We're going to use the fluid transposer. And I think 12 is enough. We'll soon see. Um, where's the frame? 4,000 millibuckets. Maybe 16. We'll see in a minute. It's all gone across. Right, 1,200 millibuckets. Okay, so it's pretty much 40. You don't get much from redstone, so I'm going to need to more, get more of that. That will fill the frame up, and then we just need a couple more things to finish it off. So eight more will do it. And we're also going to need to make an Electrum version of this conductance coil, which is fine. That should be filling, it is. So once it's full, to make the energy cell which is more electrum whoops uh, a couple of lead the redstone conductance coil not the reception coil and then the full um, the full frame which we've got so this will store a quite a large amount of power actually so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this upstairs and also fill it up with the some extra coal I forgot it uh, it's nine per so nine eighteen twenty something six yeah I'll do that should be enough to top it up anyway Hmm. 
And this just ensures we don't waste uh, too much of the uh, the stuff. So inputs, I want to make sure output is set on the right hand side, which it is. And we're now building RF, which is what we want. Uh, what was to do with the hopper, but I don't have one with me. Yeah, that'll do fine. It's building. Uh, the reason why I want to do this, by the way, it's probably not obvious, but these, they're supposed to kind of throttle themselves back, but they still keep using the coal. They don't stop entirely. So, <laughs> unless you want to waste coal, uh, usually the best thing is that you have, you know, at least uh, some kind of energy cell in the, in the, in the middle. And that's what I wanted. I wanted the other cactus. I just sneakily drop one onto the farm. Just so I can get more uh, more of the cactus green dye. Which we'll do right here. And where did I put my other under chest? Oh, <laughs> yeah, there we go. So we've got an end of the chest. And now we need a way, a way to process it. Now we're approaching the end of the episode. So I may just go over a couple of things or rather the process that we're probably going to go through in the next episode. So it is above here anyway, so I could just pipe this down. But the idea being here we have forgotten to go and get the items. Mm. Right. Uh, let's get a hopper. One of the deep storage cells, which I haven't shown you yet. I will do just now. And I'm going to leave the rest here for next episode. Let's grab a few blocks of cobble. See why in a second. Deep storage units act a lot like barrels, as I mentioned in the last episode. If you did, see it, if you saw it. However, they're a little bit different. So, if I open this up, there's these slots here. They're not labeled anymore, but these at the top used to be labeled in. This used to be labeled out. So the idea is that if you Let's say a stack of something in. It says stored zero. That's because it always tries to keep a stack of something ready to be pulled out by another, you know, any kind of inventory system. But if you put another stack in, immediately you see stored 192. And we can shift click to get everything back out again. So it, it acts, you know, kind of like a barrel, kind of like a chest. And uh, is really handy for storing lots of stuff like, oh, me not connecting things to. Right way. There we go. So as you can see, the hopper is now pulling things in from the uh, end of chest at the top. It only stores one type of item, so I best get rid of this cactus again soon. And it will continue just building in the. Don't need to do anything else now. That can store 2.1 billion sugarcane. <laughs> yes, that's B with B for billion. Bear in mind, if it goes over 2.1 billion, you know, in that far off future, and you try and move it, you could lose your items. But anything up to that, it will retain the items when you move it. All good. Good. What we're going to need to do next, and this is going to be next episode, is just basically find a way to process this pretty much automatically. And here's the process we're going to need to do. We're going to need to take sugar canes and convert some of it, some of it, to sugar. The rest of it, we're going to need to convert into um, into plant balls. And you may not have seen that, but the idea is that we use a, a block color fermenter like this, which uses a lot of bronze. I've been making it's just copper and tin, nothing special. 
And we use the fermenter along with um, water, with fertilizer, and the outputs of this system. And that produces biomass. The biomass we then take and store in probably a huge tank of some kind. And then we can use that to react with the sugar that we made with some of this. Those two together in a reactive dynamo will produce power. Power goes into a um, one more of those cubes. And we've got some power for our base. Everything from sugar cane. And we've got a farm upstairs now. So between the episodes, I'll probably go and make some more lily pads. Improve that system so that uh, it's growing faster. And then I may set things up for the next episode just so that I've got the minimum of stuff showing. If you want to know what to build in beforehand, then you definitely want a couple of pulverizers. You definitely want a cyclic assembler, and you probably haven't seen that recipe before, or at least I haven't shown it to you before. But it's more of the same kind of things that we've already got. Tin gears, copper gears, machine frames, chest, and redstone reception coil. Straightforward. Uh, probably going to want another aqueous accumulator because the fermenters need water. The fermenters, as I said. And uh, is there anything else? I want to say yes, but you still certainly need a supply of this stuff. Appetite. We can convert that into fertilizer. Now you can use mulch from apples, but we don't have an apple tree farm going yet, so this appetite stuff will convert into a lot of fertilizer that we can use it's not renewable per se that's where the apple, the apple farm may come in but in the meantime it's uh, enough to get things going with a, a decent power system a good alternative to lava anyway we're just going to have to jump start it with um, steam dynamos of some kind until it produces enough power that we can just forget about it all right that's the episode the end of episode 10 uh, feel free to leave me a comment below Ask me any questions uh, that you like. Feel free to suggest any improvements. And feel free to subscribe if you do like the series. If you don't, then obviously, what are you still doing watching? Thanks for watching. This is Greatest, the signing off.